In this video, you will learn how to define functions in JavaScript along with what is arrow functions in modern JavaScript. So currently we are in section 2 and we are about to check out the third video of this section. So in this video, first I will talk about how to define a function in JavaScript and then gradually talk about arrow functions. So a typical function in JavaScript appears to be like this. It has a function keyword followed by its name, then parenthesis for the parameters, then we have the function body. And to call this function, we just use the function name followed by the parenthesis. So nothing new till now. Now in JavaScript, everything is an object. For example, this whole function is an object. So we can store this function within a variable. So now this variable show is referring to this function of display. So everything such as the function name along with the function body remain same. Just that we have assigned it to a variable of show here. Now to call this function display, all you have to do is use this variable of show by using show followed by parenthesis. Now unlike previous case, you cannot use the name display like this. It is not allowed. So in this case, if you notice, the keyword function as well as the name display is quite redundant. It is actually not required. You just need to use the variable of show. So here comes arrow functions into picture. So in modern JavaScript, you can use this syntax. You can just remove the function name along with the display name. So here we are only left with the parenthesis, that is the parameter part. And in addition, we have added one arrow, which is represented by equal to followed by the angular bracket. So this is where the arrow function got its name. To call this function, as you have guessed it already, you can use the name show. This will execute your code here. Great. So always remember the arrow function uses this arrow symbol. Now within this arrow function, you can pass the parameters. Let me show you how. So here I have an arrow function where I am passing message as a parameter. To call this function, we can use show then pass the string value or any data. Now whenever in the arrow function, you just have one parameter, then you can remove this bracket along with this bracket. That is, you can straight away remove the parenthesis. Then and there, our method looks like this. Constant show equal to the parameter. So notice here that we have just removed the parenthesis and everything remains same. Even the function call remains same. But it is only applicable for the function where we have just one parameter. In case you have more parameters, then the parenthesis is mandatory. You cannot remove that. And when you have multiple parameter, then of course you need to pass multiple parameter during the function call. So here just pause the video for a while and analyze the syntax of the arrow function. So let us see an example of the arrow function versus the normal function. You can always get this file from the link given in the description. And once you download the folder from the GitHub, in your terminal navigate to this folder. And within this folder, you will find this arrowfunctions.js file. So in the traditional JavaScript, we used to define our function like this. And on the left, you can assign it to some variable because in JavaScript, everything is an object. Even this function is an object. To invoke this function, we follow this syntax as discussed, normal function followed by the parameters. So this word function along with this sum Method name is redundant. So in modern JavaScript, you can represent the same function by removing this part. Like this, just the parameters and then use this arrow. To invoke this function, you can use this syntax arrow function followed by the parameters in the parenthesis. Now one more thing you can note here is that here we are using var keyword, but in modern JavaScript, we are using constant keyword just because the constant keyword was introduced in ES6. Now what is a var and why do we use constant? I already discussed in my previous videos. Kindly go through that. 
So here I will save the file and try to run it. Well in both the case the output is same 5 and 5 because these two functions are totally same. Now in case of ES5 you can even remove this sum function name like this and just use function here for this normal function. The code will still work perfectly fine. Now let us proceed and discuss more about this arrow function. Now in this example if you notice we just have a single expression. We just have a single statement within our method body and this statement simply returns a value. Fine. Now the same function can be trimmed down further. Let me show you how. So here let us change the function name arrow example 2 and since we just have a single statement here as an expression so what we can do is you can actually remove this curly bracket like this and also remove this return keyword. So this part is equivalent to this part. So when you call this function it is simply going to evaluate x plus y and then return it. Similar to what we have here. So to invoke this function all you have to do is call arrow example 2 and pass 2 comma 3 the value as per your wish. The output will again remain same. Let us run the code. Great isn't it? 5. Now in a certain situation when within a function you have more than one line of code such as line 1 or you can say statement 1 or statement 2 like this. So in that case you cannot remove this curly bracket. This shorthand syntax is only possible when you just have one line of code. For example here we are returning a value just one line of code. Fine like this. Now proceeding let me show you one more example of the arrow function. So here we have one more function that accepts only one parameter and as a body I am simply going to print out the message. Now as discussed earlier in the slide when we have one parameter in case of arrow function then you can actually remove it like this and to call this function you can simply copy it and paste it here and invoke it like you invoke any other function. Save it and run the file. Well I did some mistake I have to pass a message here. Save it and again rerun it. Fine. Hello Mr. Arrow. Now let us explore more. So within this function as we just have a single line of code so you can actually remove this part. That is the curly bracket like this and then save the file and rerun it. You will get the same output. Now suppose you put this console.log cut it from here and paste it here and close it like this and remove this extra bracket save the file and rerun it then that is actually the same thing just that right now we are printing out the return part here within this console.log statement earlier we were printing out the message as a body of this function so this function accepts message as a parameter and then return the same value as a return statement here from this function so again if you feel confused then just pause the video and analyze the code. So that's all for this video. In the next video we will explore the usage of this keyword with the arrow functions. See you there.